Hey guys, it's Angelique, also known as The Light. Welcome to my channel. Please stop what you're doing and click like on this video. Subscribe, stay a while if you like spiritual videos, chosen one videos, narcissism, zodiac videos. It's all on this channel. All right, this is going to be a quick video. One, because I'm noticing that people have a short attention span. And two, I can't give all my secrets. <laughs> And what I do in my home and how I live and how I protect my home and how I protect myself because to me spirituality is very private so thanks to Maya she donated she requested this video and I remember India kind of requested this video as well but I didn't feel comfortable um, really doing this video but because people keep asking I'm gonna do a brief little video about how I protect myself and how I protect my home because I believe in African spiritualism I used to be a Christian for 10 years 10 years I was a Christian 10 years ago I grew up Christian and I let go Christianity um, I'm of Native American um, Cuban and Black American descent okay so please be respectful if people get too crazy in the comments I'm going to cut the comments off you have to understand everybody's not Christian, everybody's not Muslim, everybody's not Jewish. Respect people's beliefs, cultures, and ethnicities, okay? If you think this is witchcraft, please remove yourself from my channel. Um, sometimes the lack of knowledge and ignorance is what keeps you fear-based. Everything to me is spirit and energy. So... Um, how did I learn these things? A lot of these things are just natural downloads or things that I grew up seeing. Um, but most of it is research and just spiritual downloads from God, my creator, okay? Um, that taught me, all right? There's going to be some things that God would teach you. Um, your angels will teach you. Spirit guides, if you believe in deities, these, these beings will teach you. Okay, this, these spirits will literally teach you these things about spirituality. So, I am not religious. I know a lot of you love me, but I am not Christian. If you put Bible verses in my video in the comment section, I'm going to delete it. Okay, first of all, you have to be very careful who you allow in your home, the things that you're doing in your home. So, whatever you're doing in your house, that energy sticks kind of like when somebody gets killed in a house or abuse was going on in the home that energy remains embedded in that building okay so for example when my narcissistic grandmother was alive in the house that I live in this was her house it took me probably about a year to literally change the vibration in the home all right so if you have abuse going on in your home um you're doing drugs in your house or you know there's a there's um sexual abuse or any crazy things that you can think of going on in your home that spirit those spirits those those dark spirits attach to those thought processes and those actions it stays in your home you invite a negative family member over a negative friend, co-worker, a lover, their energy is now embedded in your home, okay? So, check <laughs> how you're living. Check who's coming in your house first, okay? Yes, there are things you can do outside your home. So, a lot of people put um, certain things on their homes, okay? Depending on what coach you are. I'm not going to tell you to do do these things so for me I don't have a welcome mat in front of my front door of my home all right a lot of people believe that when you have a welcome mat that's not just welcoming people who come to your house you're literally welcoming spirits I don't have a welcome mat a lot of people also put um put certain things in the grass in front of their home okay so they'll get a jar they put whatever protection things they want in the jar and they bury it in their yard, all right? 
you'll have to do the research of what you're going to be putting in that jar. I'm not going to tell you what to put in the jar, okay? Uh, a lot of people put salt, all right? There are certain things um, that dark spirits do not like, okay? Some people put holy oil, okay? Holy water, whatever it is um, to put in front of their home. Some people might put a cross up, right? Some people might put a crow or an eagle, fake eagle, fake crows, right? So there's certain things that you can put in front of your home, do the research, that protects your home, all right, from spirits coming into your home, right? Um, even down to like the energy of your clothing. When you get home, don't lay in your bed or sit on your couch in time with dirty clothes. Take the dirty clothes off. All right, put it in the laundry room, put it in your wastebasket, take your shoes off. All right, you're walking in with filth. All right, spirits don't like cleanliness. All right, that's the reason why I am constantly cleaning in my house because I have a relative who's schizophrenic and he loves dirt, he loves filth. Whenever I keep cleaning my bathroom, he goes and he literally finds dirt and puts dirt back into my bathroom. It's dark spirits like filth all right so there's no way if you if you keep a dirty house you're not going to be able to keep a peaceful house because you're literally going to welcome dark spirits when you have a filthy house i'm sorry to break some of y'all hearts all right if you're hoarding you got all kind of spirits hiding up on all your stuff all right so keep a clean house uh, dark spirits don't like order. They don't like cleanliness. That's why they say cleanliness is next to godliness. All right. Um, whenever I feel like I need to change the energy, I use sage. People say, "Oh, you're gonna get you bringing demons in your house with sage." No, no, it's not true. Sage is not a portal. This will change the energy in your home. So, say if you had some guests come over, right? And I also use Palo Santo. Palo Santo is from the a, a tree. All right, this is from a tree. So I use sage. You can get this from a botanica. You can get this on I don't know Amazon. You can get this from a crystal store. Things like that. All right, metaphysical store. You know, an African market. Things like that. This as well. You can buy it online, but. Be sure to, that it's real because people are making fake repl replicas of Palo Santo and of Sage, right? So whenever I'm trying to change the energy or get things out, get negative energy out, I'll use this. So I just want to like um, bring positive energy, I'll use this, all right? This to me is stronger, but I like Dragon's Blood Sage as well. I have that. It looks red. Um, there's all different types of sages. So, so research on sage before you use it. When you sage your home, right? Open the doors, open the windows. Whatever energy or spirit is in there, um, it needs to go out the window, all right? So I do this about once or twice a month. I actually have to do it now because my relative is having a lot of manic episodes and a lot of people who have mental illness, they carry a lot of spirits and he has a lot of spirits on him. So I'm constantly having to pray and clean in my home. And when I use this, I'm speaking. I speak, your words are powerful. I'm saying whatever dark energies is in this house, leave, this is God's house, this is my house, I rule this home. No dark spirits is welcomed here. Sometimes dark spirits are in your home because you haven't told them to leave. They're just chilling. You didn't ask them to leave. So I have my windows open. And I'm telling you, after you do this, you literally feel the energy shifting. All right? I use this all the time. Anytime. I just, it even calms me down. All right? Another thing, I use Florida water. You can get this from Amazon, Botanica. They sell it in Walgreens, some drugstores. It's everywhere. It's like a cologne. Dark spirits don't like this either. You can literally put a little bit of this in your water when you're mopping your house. You can sprinkle this on your carpet. 
I sprinkle this on my walls. I sprinkle this on my bedroom door. I sprinkle this in my front door. Okay, everywhere. There's some people who just take it and put it in. I have allergies, so I don't like it on my skin. You can literally do spiritual baths with this. All right, you could take it and put it on you. All right, dark spirits, certain energies don't like the scent. They don't like sweet aromas. They don't like, um, listen, Florida water. When you get these things, you can also sage it to cleanse it. Sage it or cleanse it, you know. Um, Because you, whoever created this, you don't want their energy on it. You want your energy on it. Now, to bring money in abundance in my home, believe it or not, cinnamon sticks, okay? Or you could use powdered cinnamon. It, it just put it in the corners of your home, all right? In the beginning of the month, I take cinnamon and I blow it into the front of my house, in front of the front door, through the front door into my home. And it brings wealth, all right? Uh, basil, bay leaves as well will bring wealth. Write on your bay leaves what you want. You could burn them or leave them in the corner of your home, okay? Um, but you have to check the energy in, in your home. That's how you protect it. Some people use holy water. Some people use the olive oil. They put crosses on above their bed or above um, the doorways of their home. All right. Now, I use this salt right now, but you could use sea salt. Some people use table salt. You could put salt in front of your door. These spirits don't like this. I put them in the corners of my bedroom. I put this in the front, um, this carpet in front of my door. I take it and I sprinkle it right underneath that carpet. All right. Now I have other things that I make. I make like a pepper type of um, mixture that has like chili powder and paprika and Cajun spices. Okay. It's like a, I forgot what it's called, but it's like to, um, uh, wear off dark entity spirits okay now if you're having issues with severe demonic entities in your home you need to get some spiritual help you need to get a spiritualist or a priest or someone to come up in there and pray in your home if you're having um, paranormal things going on all right I'm not talking about uh, that's some heavy work. Um, this is light work. This is how you keep your home. Watch the music you're playing. Play high vibrational music. Watch the movies that you're playing in your home. Don't fall asleep with your TV on. Whatever you're playing in your TV. What if you're watching a murder show? I had to stop doing that too. Because I love watching murder shows. Cut it off. Put on some jazz or some ocean sounds or something like that watch the television the movies and the music you're playing in your home that is also creating a portal another thing mirrors mirrors are portals i have a big mirror that's like a dresser in my room but it's facing my door if you have a long mirror cover your mirror at night i know it sounds crazy but um spirits can come through mirrors entities can come through mirrors all right, so be very careful with these mirrors. Um, I believe in crystals as well. All right, research crystals. I love black tourmaline. I love obsidian because it absorbs dark energy. It's a they're black crystals. I love them. I keep them in a in my purse. I carry it everywhere I go. I used to carry it around my neck, but it draws too much attention. People's always trying to touch my crystals. Um, but look up your zodiac and find out what crystals are good for you. All right. Um, but really everything is energy and you need to constantly be doing these things. Constantly watching the energy that you're bringing into your home. Okay. Um, because I think we don't notice our habits is what brings on negative energy so say if you have somebody in your house that was negative you uh, throw out anything anything they gave you throw it out 
give it the, give it away, sell it, get rid of it. They're almost like a gift that someone gave you. It's like a portal to them. It's like a link to that person. Anything, if you see something in your home, it reminds you. I don't care how expensive it is. Throw it out. Get rid of it. Sell it. All right? Wherever that person used to hang out. Their, their favorite chair, get rid of the chair. All right? You look at a fork and it reminds you of them, throw the fork out. <laughs> I'm telling you, do not play with these energies in your home all right so yes i'm going to keep this video short maya um when we when we talk on a phone session we'll talk more because i don't want to give all these tips on youtube okay so hopefully these tips will help you guys be careful of the energy that you're allowing in your home be safe and research everything anything that i said research it it may not be for you some of you just pray and you feel it works but these things that i do works for me all right doesn't work for everybody but i'm spiritual i'm not religious and these are the things that i do all right god bless everybody talk to you soon oh yes don't forget to donate don't forget to book those phone sessions oh the links um and information how to book and how to donate is always in the comment section and always in the description bar. Peace and blessings.